Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a different type of video. I'm going to be showing you guys how I put a wig on my head or how I put my wigs on basically. This is the wig. You guys have probably seen this a bunch of times on my Instagram. I'm just going to be honest. This is the only wig that I own right now that's real hair. So bear with me. But the point of this video is just to show you guys how I install my wigs. And this is just going to be with the got to be glued method. I am not using any lace glue in this video. Before we jump right into the video, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notification bell. And also, don't forget to follow all of my social media, which will be linked down below. And yeah, other than that, let's just jump right into the video. Okay guys, so I don't have a microphone on. I really hope... I hope the sound quality is fine. But anyways, I'm going to tell you guys what I use. So you're going to need a stocking cap. You're going to need some alcohol, some got to be spray, um, some got to be gel or the gel of your liking. I know some people use Gorilla Stunt, um, but this is the one I'm using. If you're just trying this out, I would recommend that you start off with the black bottle because with the yellow bottle, sometimes it leaves a white residue if you put too much or don't know what you're doing. So the black one dries clear. It's just not as like sweat resistant as this one. That's why this one's preferred. But like I said, if you're just trying this out, I would recommend starting with that one. And then for styling, you're going to need some foam. Okay, as I mentioned, guys, this is the wig that I'm going to be putting on today. This wig is from Hair by Olivia. I will link her Instagram right here and then also down below. Or I'll show you guys right here and then link it down below. This is one of her wigs. I believe this was 22 inches of a 613. It's a frontal. And I already had a stylist apply this on me so it's already pre-cut and pre-born and everything. I will be doing a video on a fresh wig soon. If you guys want to see that, make sure you thumbs up this video and comment down below if that's something you'd like to see. I can really try. This color was done by a stylist as well. I really don't know what she used. Um, but she just colored it for me and that's how it's this color But I'm sure you guys can find stuff in the beauty supply or similar videos on this color Okay, so clearly I have short hair So it's gonna be like really simple for me to just gel this back if you guys have longer hair What I used to do is just braid do two braids down and then I like I crisscross them in the back and fold it under the wig cap. If that sounds confusing, there's a ton of videos on how to prep your hair for a wig cap, but I'm just going to be showing you guys what I do on my short hair. So I'm just going to add a little bit of water, not a lot, just a little to try to begin to flatten my hair, and then I'm going to take a comb just to brush everything back. Okay, so once you have your hair a little bit brushed out so it's easier to work with, you want to take some gel. Any gel will work for this, it doesn't matter. Even if it's not this, you want to slick your hair back. So I'm going to put some of this in my hand and begin to do that. And I'm going to also do that with a bristle brush, just so I can get it as flat as possible. I'm also going to take a little bit of this mousse just to help flatten it even further. Alright guys, so this is pretty much good enough for me. It's mostly laid down, or when I push it down it's more laid. I mean, you can see it still sticks up a little, but my hair is short, so once I put the wig cap on, it's all going to lay flat. The next thing you want to do, you guys, is to gel back your hairline before you put on the wig cap. And that way when we put on the wig cap, none of our baby hairs accidentally push forward and they're showing. So you don't want any of your real hair to be out at all, especially with a light wig. So I'm just going to take some of the gel and the spray combination just to really secure everything. Okay, 
Okay guys, now that it looks like we've been running super fast, as you can see, my hair is all like um, You want to go ahead and let this dry. Now if you're in a rush, you can blow dry it, but I would recommend not doing it too hot because like I said, sometimes the gel can turn white if you're not careful. So I'm just going to let this air dry just to be safe and to make sure this video comes out really good. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to let this dry down a little and then we're going to move on to the next step. Okay, so now it's very dry and it is not going anywhere. So we can move on to the next step. So you want to take one of your wig caps off. It Most of the times it comes with two, but we're only using one. And I'm just going to go ahead and fit this onto my head. Oh guys, I forgot. You're going to need scissors. One second. I would recommend manicure scissors, it's more detailed, but if you have regular scissors, that can work too. Alright, so go ahead and fit your wig cap over your head. Ooh, my brows. Alright, so now we're going to do the method where we cut holes in the ears. Now be extremely, extremely careful, please you guys, so watch carefully. Alright, so all you want to do... Start in the center. These scissors kind of suck. <laughs> you want to start off with a little hole because it's going to stretch over your ear. You don't want to make the hole too big or it's just going to be too large. Boom! Perfect! Okay, cool. So now this is where the Got To Be spray comes into play. If you don't have the spray, you can uh, of course use the gel. The spray is just quicker because it dries faster. So I'm going to do about two layers onto my hairline. So just spray onto your skin like maybe like halfway, maybe like to here. Spray it all. Just so you can like play with how far you want your um, your wig cap to be trimmed off. So just spray down to here and some onto your hair back here because you want this to stick when we trim it off. Okay, you don't want to have it right here because if you trim it's going to pull back. So make sure you're saturating onto your hair as well. Okay guys, so this is just an extra step that I like to do. I don't know. It just <laughs> it just works better for me when I do this. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the gel and I'm strictly applying it to right here at the ear tabs. Just because when I don't do this, I notice that I notice that it just doesn't stay on as good on right here on my sideburns. So I like to secure it with some gel by placing this right here. That way it like the wig cap really lays onto the uh, the sideburn area. All right guys, so now we're just gonna let this dry and then I'm gonna come back and do the second layer. Okay guys, we're back and the second layer is completely dry and you'll know it's dry when you touch it and it's not sticky at all. So now we're going to move on to the next step. Okay guys, so I just zoomed in for you so you can see a little better because now we're gonna trim away the excess fabric that we do not need. So this is where we're going to literally make ourselves look bald. So the first thing I like to do is cut right here. And also you guys, please, please, please be careful. Be careful where you're cutting because I have nicked myself sometimes, so please take your time. So I'm just going to cut this in half right here. And then lastly, I like to cut up towards the middle. Okay guys, so now I'm just going to work in sections. So basically, um, I'm going to explain it and then I'm just going to let you guys watch me do it. 
but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly peel this as close as I can to the hairline and then once I get it peeled to where my hairline is I'm going to trim all of the excess fabric off. So I like to work uh, from this side to here and then this side to here. Before I play through this, I'm just going to show you guys. So right here, I'm show you, I'm peeling it, and then what I'm doing is I'm laying the scissors flat to my head, and then I'm just trimming it as closely as possible. You see that? So just get it as close as you can to the fabric. You don't want any like extra roll up, you know, what do you call this? You don't want any excess fabric. So you want to trim as close as possible. So right here, I'm gonna start right here. And do this slowly guys, like trim it away and then if you think you need more trimmed off, then pull it up more and trim. So that way you don't cut off too much. And you guys can see right here, this is what I'm talking about. So if you have a little excess, just take your scissors and cut as close as possible. Because we want this to be damn near invisible. If you have a little, that's okay. I'm gonna show you how to fix that, but this is what you want. So I'm just gonna keep on going. Um, I just want to also say trimming this also can depend on your forehead so I have a regular forehead that's why I'm trimming it right where my hairline is if you have a low hairline you want to trim it as close as possible I'm sure like make sure it's as close to your hairline as possible the wig cap if you have a big forehead y'all are lucky okay because y'all can literally leave that shit far and still make um, the hairline look natural so since I have a regular forehead, that's why I'm cutting it right where my hairline is. Okay guys, so I'm just gonna stop right here really quick. So as you can see, this is how your wig cap should look. Um, it's like maybe half an inch from my hairline so that there's some space. You don't want to do it right on, like right on. You just want to leave a little space just like this. And then as you can see, none of my sideburns are showing through either. So now I'm just going to do the other side. guys Woo! so now we have the whole um, hairline trimmed so we have our bald cap now before I show you how to flatten this I am um, you want to get your wig or this is what I do so I get my wig really quick and then I like to try it on I guess just to see if I've cut enough of the wig cap off so right here, you'll know that you trimmed off enough by like where you place your lace. So if you place your lace and you can still see some of the, um, some of the wig cap peeking through, that means you need to trim more off. So this is good. 
yes this is all good guys so as you can see I put it on and I don't really see the wig cap peeking through underneath so we're ready to move on to the next step now we're going to flatten the edge of the ball cap that way you don't see that underneath your lace you want it to be as flesh as possible so to fix these little rolled up edges right here take your spray we're gonna spray the edge and then when you let it you want to let it dry a little bit because after that you want to take a comb or something that you can use to flatten it and you're just gonna push it down like so Alright, so now we're almost done you guys. So take your fresh wig, I'm going to brush the um, front part back really quick. Let's put your wig on and you want to take it back and clip it out of the way. That way when you're securing the lace down, none of the hairs get caught in the front. So you want to make sure all of the hair is out of the front of the face. See, now you can see we have the ear tabs and all that. Ooh, I'm so excited. <laughs> okay guys, so now this is where we are going to be securing down the lace, okay? All right, so now you guys, we are going to begin to apply our glue. So instead of me using lace glue, I'm using got to be. I like to do this, you guys, because this can have your wig lasting for a few days and then if you're sick of it you can take it off there's no hassle with the glue getting gummy or all that stuff you know what I'm talking about if you guys have had lace glue so go ahead and get your got to be gel what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little and I'm gonna work in sections so I'm gonna start off with this part right here the forehead and then the sides that way um, that way I have an even amount of drying time. So I'm just taking this and I'm applying it right here. I'm doing a little bit, you guys, because like I said, if you put too much of this, it can um, dry down white. So use a little bit. Okay guys, and then once you have your thin layer, which you want to do about like an inch thick over the um, over the hairline, I'm going to go ahead and spray on top just for that extra secure hold. I'm going to give this a couple minutes to dry down and then I'm going to check it with my fingernail or you can use your brush. So if it starts to pull back, that that's when you know it's ready. If it's still like goopy, it's not ready, so don't put it down yet. So I'll be right back in a few minutes. So now we have the wig placed down where we want it. So just to really secure it, I'm going to take an elastic band. You can also use a scarf or whatever you have on hand. And I'm just going to place that right on the hairline. And this is so that everything lays down nice and flat. Alright, so with this you want to make sure that it's covering the ear flaps completely and the hairline. So basically so that this is going to lay nice and flat. And if you guys had any parts that you missed with um, 
any gel or anything, just take your spray and spray it over that area and then put your elastic band on. That way when it's setting, it's still going to lay flat on your skin. So that way any parts that you miss is going to be glued down. So as you can see, it still looks wiggy. And we just need to lay her flat. So you need to get you one of these, okay? Hot combs come in handy big time, so. I'm just gonna take that and lay this flat. All right guys, so that was just a quick run through just to try to pre-flatten it. So now you want to take your mousse, and I'm using the Nairobi Rabbit Shine Foaming Lotion. So I'm just going to put some of that in my hands. And this is going to help to flatten the wig. The flatter the better, baby. So I'm just going to put that on like so. And if you guys don't have mousse, you can also use spritz or even the got to be spray if you just don't have it. And then take your hot comb again. If you guys don't have a hot comb, you can also use a barrel curler to flatten it as well. Okay, so that is way flatter as you guys can see. So now at this point, I'm just gonna go off camera and I don't know if I wanna flat iron it or curl it. I've never tried curling it, so I might try to curl it just to see how it comes out. But regardless, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this up off camera real quick, then I'll be right back. Hey guys, so a thousand years later and my hair is curled. Um, if you guys want a video on how I do that, I will definitely make that for you guys. I just didn't include it in this because I figure the video is probably super long already. Let's go ahead and take off our, our um, elastic band. Oh shoot, guys. Oh! Whoa! Hey! Okay! Guys, I usually use a scarf, but dang, this is melted! Okay guys, so I'm going to be using this baby hair brush that you can get from your beauty supply store or if you don't have a beauty supply that sells this, you can definitely get it on eBay or Amazon. And then I'm going to be using foaming lotion to swoop the hair. But before you do your wig cap, it is recommended to wipe your area with alcohol to get rid of all the oils if you want this to last a really long time. But I'm going to put it on a cotton round and just wipe away all the extra spray that like kind of is down all on here because if you guys try to do your makeup, it's going to look super bad when you try to put makeup over that. So you can clean it away with some alcohol. Alright, so now I have my baby hairs how I kind of want them. I just wanted to brush them down so that, like I said, it just kind of looks natural. And I did have a little bit of lifting right here, so if that does happen to you, just take your got to be spray and spray that area. So take your elastic band again, and now we're just going to lay that down.
my gosh. This is not. What am I doing wrong? You guys. <laughs> Remember what I said if you wanted a tutorial? <laughs> Don't. Listen, this is so annoying. I thought it was going to come out right. Like, anytime I curl my hair like those girls on Instagram, it, it, it always comes out like this. Like, what is this? Maybe I need layers in the wig. Like, maybe that's what it is. But this is what always happens. Like, I, I swear on y'all, like, I thought I had it this time. So, yeah. <laughs> if you guys know any good videos on how to curl hair, link it, comment it down below for me, please. But this shit did not work. Like, that's annoying. Now, let me straighten this off camera real quick, and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. I just flat ironed it really quick. <laughs> But at least you guys can see that this wig unit curls really nice and it flat irons and I colored it and it still feels soft. So anyways, let's hurry up. So I'm going to take this off now. Okay, period. Okay. So now you guys, I mean it's still poopy, I'm going to show you the trick that I do to get that salon like look from what I've kind of learned. So I'm just going to put some foaming lotion, not on my baby hairs, but more so right here, right here, and then I'm going to brush this back. I know this is a lot of steps, but you guys, if you do all of these things, it's literally going to look like you just got your hair done for like almost $200 at the salon. Alright guys, so once you have your hair slicked back with the hot comb, get a scarf. This is a little cheat code I like to do. And just put that on the hairline like so. Alright, and then once you have this tied, then you want to take your foam again and put it at the top like here. and then comb it through. And I think you guys can guess what we're doing next. Take your hot comb again, and now we're gonna brush downwards. All right guys, so I went ahead and flattened the top and it's all dry, so let's, Take this off. Whoa! What does this look like we left the salon? Hello! Oh my god! I love doing the final reveal. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and touch this up a little bit. But as you can see, we have the sides that are pulled back. So you have that like, that look. I don't know what you call it, but it's when it's like, pull it back and you can like put it behind your ear type thing like that. So now I'm taking the tip and I'm just flattening this further. And you kind of want to do like a arch when you're doing it, so. Okay guys, so if you want to, you can stop here and you're done. But I'm gonna do a few more things to make this perfect. So as you can see on the hairline, it's a bit light. And you can kind of see a little bit of my real hair underneath. You can see a little bit of dark. Sometimes people will put um, makeup or tint on it. So I'm going to do makeup. I'm going to do powder because I feel like that's the most natural and less cakey way to go. So I'm going to be using my MAC bronzer in the shade Deep Dark because I feel like this matches best. So right here. And as you can see, let me zoom in a little. Just pushing this bronzer into my hairline and look. 
it's literally disappearing. So if you have that problem where you feel like it looks light on your edges, um, just add a little bit of powder that matches you best. And just brush it, scratch it into the hairline. So now you guys can see my wig looks way more natural and melted just because we did that powder trick. Like, see what a few more steps can do? So now we're gonna do one more thing and I promise, I promise we're almost done. <laughs> so we want to define the middle part because as you can see it kind of isn't, I mean you don't have to but it makes it look more salon quality. Okay, so for this I will recommend using a concealer for the middle part. I took a little bit of my Milani concealer, which matches my skin tone. I put some of that on my hand. So you want to do a little bit. Don't go too ham or it's going to look fake. It's going to look way too fake. So just start with a little and go from there. I see the difference. All right, and now just take some got to be in your hand, brush that, and then press that down here. This is gonna help with flyaways. If you guys have a wax stick, that's even better. That's how you don't get it to look wiggy too, is when you really just hide down those flyaways. Oh my gosh, you guys, I really can't even believe that I kind of did this on camera, like, and look how nice this wig is. Go check out Hair by Olivia because look at this wig. Look at this wig. Like, y'all can't even see all the way. Okay. All right. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. All right, guys, the last. The last thing we're gonna do, second to last, we're gonna make sure you spray lightly on your wig if you're going outside and then brush it through. This is my trick. This even works on natural hair too. If you flat ironed it, um, the coating of a hairspray is gonna protect from humidity. Just gonna run through it one more time. And then you want to put some hair oil so your hair looks nice and shiny. So um, I'm just using some vitamin E oil that I have on hand. Just a little bit, you don't want to overdo it. And then start running it through bottom to top. You don't want the top to be too greasy. All right, you guys, and this is the final product. This is the final look. Oh my gosh, it's like late as hell. <laughs> so this is how I lay my wigs every time, you guys, when I do it from home. And look, you can even put it behind your ear. Look how bomb this hair is, though, like, the fact that I just did that, like, before it, how it looked before, and now, like, it's flawless. Woo! Later! Y'all, I, listen, <laughs> I laid this. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I spent a lot of time on it today, like, now it's, like, pitch black outside. But um, regardless, I really hope you got, this helped you guys. If you need to install a wig on a budget, this is how I do my wigs every time. And they always last me like a few days. And these products are like under $10. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell because hello, like why not? <laughs> it's free. Anyways, thank you.
thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.